Well, hello, uh, welcome back uh, to Antiques Arena. My name's Walter O'Neill. It's been a while, uh, shop's been shut for a little over three months, uh, and this is my first haul video. Um, I've been open for two days. Uh, the first day, I didn't see a single soul to buy or sell to me. I'm in my second day now, and I've just had a young lady in now with a few pieces for me to have a look at for buy-in. So I bought them. I've paid £65 for the entire haul that you're going to see today. There's no jump up and down great shakes, but at the same time, a couple of little interesting pieces, and I thought it'd make a nice little video. So shall we uh, get started and take a little look at what I've managed to buy today? We're going to start off with a little bit of gold. So we're going to start off with this. Let me put them down. Nine carat gold signet ring set with a very small diamond and the corners all engraved. It's a little out of shape, but it's not damaged. I can uh, slightly warm that up, put it on my ring ring gauge, and it'll be back round in no time at all. It's fully hallmarked to the inside, just there. And that weighs a little over two grams, but a nice little ring. Um, realistically, that should be. 50 pound, somewhere over there, 50, 55 pound for retail once I make it around again. So near enough, all my money is going to be back just on this little ring. Scrap value, it's 30 pound scrap or thereabouts. But retail, 50, 55 pound, and I've nearly got all my money back. I also had this little nine karat gold St. Christopher, all marked on the reverse. And it came, no, I'll put that with that. So, nine carat gold St. Christopher, which weighs in at about a gram. And I'm going to be asking £20, £22 for the St. Christopher. I think it's about a gram. Got a skills around just somewhere. Let me just have a double check. Just in case I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's one and a half grams. So based on the price of gold, it's £22 a scrap. So I'm going to be asking about £30 for it, £28 to £30 for that. Uh, it's £22 a scrap value. So I want a few pounds above scrap. The last piece of gold then was this very thin, flimsy chain. And on it goes this beautiful little silhouette. It looks to be Wedgwood. Or a little cameo. We'll have a little look now under an eyeglass. Could be a cameo. Bear with me. Yep, it's a cameo. It's not Wedgwood. Um, they've been done by Wedgwood as well, but that is a proper cameo. So we've got a little cameo necklace there and chain, which again is going to be about a gram or maybe a bit under a gram on this one, actually, I think. Let's have a look. No, it's a gram. Well, point nine, it's flickering between 0.9 and a gram, so it's about £15 a scrap there. But again, I'm going to be asking about £30 for that little cameo necklace. So already we're going to be up about £120, double my money, give or take. Next piece we got. I thought we got lucky with this one. This come in. Absolutely beautiful looking ring. And I acid tested in front of her because obviously we had to do the value on how much I was going to pay, and it bubbled up green, so that's not real. But what a gutting little thing, that, that would have been a beautiful little ring. But it is what it is. This one, however, is silver gilt. So gold, gold-plated gold silver. Fully hallmarked. It's got a good set of hallmarks. It's, not just, it's stamped silver that side, but on this side you've got a full set. You got Birmingham Anchor, uh, date letter T, and I make this marker G N, I think it's G N. So a nice little ring by there. That's not gonna be four tunes, that's about 15 pounds. Maybe I'll ask 20 and see what offers I get. We had a couple of lighters in the boxes. Now the first is Kingsway, little gold plated lighter. Not a lot of value to these guys, really isn't. And um, we had 
uh, Sun X butane lighter. Quite a pleasant looking lighter, but again, smoking, is it really that big a thing now? I don't know. If they were Dunhill or something like that, I'd be jumping up and down thinking, yes, but I'd be lucky to get a tenner each for them. I'll ask a tenner each, and to be honest, if someone said to me, 15 for the pay, they could take them. I don't care about those. Now, she then brought me in a tin full of contents. Now, the tin is better than the contents. Now, the, let me just give you a little glimpse at the contents. We're going to look at all that now in just a second. Now, the tin is absolutely beautiful. It's a brass tin. It's in lovely condition. Now, this was a gift to a serving soldier during the First World War. Uh, King George V's daughter, Mary, uh, managed to convince her father to basically give every serving person in the First World War a gift. And in 1914, just before Christmas, they put out a appeal for donations and they raised a small fortune to be totally honest with you and then these tins were produced that's princess mary there um i'm not sure what the rest of it all is uh you got japan there belgium there i need my glasses on anyway where are they there we go russia Montenegro, wherever that is, Serbia. So yeah, really nice tin. Now these tins, they contained a variety of things. You'd have tobacco, cigarettes. You'd have some of them had sweets, some of them had chocolates. They all had a little photograph of Princess Mary and a Christmas card. If you find one complete, still full then you, you're probably talking anything 40 to 60 pound, 40 to 70 pound. Empty one like this, in good condition, should be somewhere around 20 to 30, somewhere around there, 20, 25 pounds, something like that. I'm going to ask 30 pound for that one anyway. Um, it's a beautiful bit of history. It's just a nice little object. We then had a little group of watches and bracelets and things. And to be honest with you, these are all scrappers to go straight into my, um, I'm going to create a box. As I buy stuff throughout this year, I'm going to get a massive box. Anything that I don't want or don't rate is just going to get thrown in the box by way of jewellery and watches and things like that. And at the end of the year, I'm going to put it into an auction house and just let it go no reserve. And if it goes for a pound, it goes for a pound. If it goes for 500, it goes for 500. Wherever it goes for, it goes for. So that'll make a good experiment. But all this type of stuff is going to go into it. Um, this here is a Rumatan 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 uh, magnetic bracelet. So for people who suffer with rheumatoid arthritis, things like that, it's like a magnetic bracelet that's supposed to help the joints. And you've got a couple of quartz watches. So I don't rate any of that at all. This then is magnetic. Therefore, it is absolutely costume jewellery. And again, get thrown in the box. I don't want it. Now, I did have a little selection of, sorry, coins. Let's take those out. Nothing spectacular, you know, run-of-the-mill coins. Yeah, run of the mill stuff. There we go. It's nothing at all. Again, what I tend to do with this stuff, it'll get thrown in a box. Um, what I'll do is when I got a kilo of it, I'll sell it by the kilo. And I'll just say 10 of the kilo of coins, that type of thing. I did have in there was a crown. Again, these are like a pound each, but it'll sell for a pound in the box. I had a vintage two pound coin. Now that's actually worth probably three or four pounds. It's a 1986, yeah, 1986 two pound coin. So that's probably worth three or four pounds to my coin buyer. So I'll keep that aside. And then I had this little silver, but 500 grade. So it's half silver, 1941 three pence, which will go home and go in my silver stores. 
final piece I've had is a little pocket watch. There you go. And it's a running pocket watch. If you see the bottom hand there going around, we got a little Ingersoll. Now, these are normally used by little railway men or miners or even military. It's an old work Ingersoll. It's running. It's not going to be worth fortunes. It's lost the loop by here. Yeah. Sounds nice, though. And I think that's about 15 or 20 pounds. So all in all, it's still not a bad little haul. It's no jump up and down great shakes of antiques and things like that. I like the diamond uh, signet ring, but again, I weighed in a lot of gold in February. And kick me or not, my boy came home with a massive university bill that I had to find some money for. So I weighed in some gold and they turned around to me, they'd never done it before, but they turned around to me and said, we only buy diamonds now that are half a carat or bigger. Anything under that, we just scrap in. They don't even worry, they don't value them. So any little chips like that now, as I'm buying them, I won't be uh, adding value onto them. If they're a little chip like that, I'm just buying it by the gold, it's that simple. If they're going to do it to me, then unfortunately, I have to pass that on. So what do we have? Two, three and a half, four and a half. We had four and a half, five grams of gold uh, for £65. Absolutely fine. We had a couple of lighters. We had a nice pocket watch, which is still going. Um, Love the history of the tin. She didn't even know the tin was worth anything. She brought it in and she thought the contents might have been worth something. And I said, you could have the contents back. I'll just have the tin. Meant more to me as a bit of history. But all in all, nice little uh, package. The gold will get put away now, as will the um, silver coin and possibly the silver ring. This is going to end up on my eBay for £30 or best offer. The light does are going in the shop, 10 or each or best offer. And that's where we're at. The watch, again, in the shop for now, but it may end up on eBay for 20 quid. But uh, all in all, I think I'm really pleased. It's £65. I'm, I'm going to put the gold away, and I still think I'm going to double my money. So I hope. So if I forget the gold, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'll get about £100 back and keep the gold. So I don't mind that. Hopefully you've enjoyed. It's a small video. It's a small little haul, but it's a, a nice little haul. Guys, thanks for watching.